My name is Graydon Blair from Utah Biodiesel Supply and today we're going to do a soap test. Soap testing is where you measure the soap content in a batch of biodiesel that you've made. This can either be done before you make, before you wash the biodiesel, after you wash the biodiesel, or even in your storage tank to see where the soap levels are. The reason that we do this test is if your soap levels are too high, it can plug fuel injectors and it can also plug fuel filters, which isn't good for the diesel engine. So it's an important test. If you're dry washing, this test is extremely important because it's highly, it's very difficult to detect soap in biodiesel just by looking at it. Um, also, this test can be done on recovered methanol out of dry wash towers to see if you've gotten the dry wash tower clean. Basically, once the methanol has no soap in it and you're flushing your towers, then your towers are clean and ready to go again. To do this test, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some isopropyl alcohol, some bromophenol blue, some very dilute hydrochloric acid. This is a 0.01 normal hydrochloric acid. You're going to need a magnetic stir, a, about a 200 milliliter jar, and some samples of biodiesel to test. And then you're also going to be using something called pipettes. And we're using such small increments that these are really come in handy. This is a 0.01 millimeter marked pipette in glass and you use pipette pumps with it. I also have some bigger pipettes that I'm going to be measuring out some biodiesel with right here and they allow you to be much much more accurate than say using just a standard syringe. Syringes aren't anywhere near as accurate as these because these tubes are smaller and you're able to find the increments more. To do this test, you're going to measure 100 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol and put it right in your main jar. And then you're going to put 12 milliliters of biodiesel in here. There's been some discrepancies in the past as 10 or 12. The basic theory is that you use 10 grams of biodiesel, and 10 grams is roughly 12 milliliters. So we'll use 12 milliliters. Once we put our isopropyl alcohol in here, we're going to blue it using this uh, bromophenol blue and get it a nice blue color. Then we're going to add in our biodiesel and then once that's mixed up and going well we'll start measuring in mixed, uh, measured amounts of the hydrochloric acid to see how much it takes. The theory is that soap is basic in nature and so we're trying to neutralize this soap with an acid. We identify how much acid it takes to neutralize the soap in here, take a measurement and that tells us how much soap is in the biodiesel. By doing this test, you're able to identify if you've got your soap levels down far enough to acceptable levels to use in a diesel engine. So let's get started. The first step is to put 100 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol into this jar. So I have a 100 milliliter mark right here, so in we go. Okay, we're right at 100 milliliters. Okay, at this point, I turn on my magnetic stir bar and I start adding in bromophenol blue. If you have a little dropper, you can do it that way, but I just take and put small little amounts in here. You'll notice we're going to go nice and blue. I like to kind of get mine deep blue just because it's a nice way to indicate. At this point, if you look at the instructions in our test, it tells you that you can blank the sample. In other words, you can add a little bit of your titration solution to turn it to yellow and then turn it back to blue. Um, if your methanol or if your isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol is old and you're worried about that, more, than, more power to you. Um, mine's brand new, so I don't need to blank this sample. So at this point, I'm going to measure in 12 milliliters of my biodiesel. So I'm going to grab one of my pipettes. I like to label my pipettes, and this one is labeled with bio right on the top, uh, so that I always use it for the same thing. So I'm going to suck up as much as this pipette will let me suck up with the tool I have, which is I can get about three, but I can't get much past four, so three, and our goal is 12. So there's three.
you'll notice that I'm going immediately from a blue to somewhat of a green color in my jar. That's okay. I just don't want to go to yellow. What that's telling me is that there's not a lot of soaps in here. If this was really soapy biodiesel, it would really stay that blue color. And there's 12. At this point, we switch our pipettes. We switch out to the very, very fine pipette because now we're going to be measuring in measured amounts of hydrochloric acid. It's important to note that I only use this pipette for hydrochloric acid and when I'm done with it, I always keep it covered so I never taint this. To be safe, I'm going to pour a little bit of my hydrochloric acid into another container though and draw from it again so that I don't taint my hydrochloric acid. I'm going to suck up about roughly one milliliter of my hydrochloric acid into this tube which is right about there and we're going to start titrating now when we titrate it really doesn't take much so I'm going to have we're going to show you a close-up here as we go in okay what we're looking for is a definite color change right now we're kind of a bluish green color we want to see what happens when it goes to yellow so we're going to start putting some in and I like to wait about two or three seconds between each drop because it does take a while in this jar. And I do see it kind of going somewhat of a yellowish color. Yeah, there it goes to yellow. I have barely put any in at all. So you see now I have changed to a yellow. To measure what your soap content is, you're going to have to know what you reacted your biodiesel with. I know that this biodiesel was reacted with sodium hydroxide. For sodium hydroxide, you use uh, a conversion factor of 304. So I'm going to take 304 and times it by 0.15 because it took 0.15 milliliters. 0.15 times 304. I'm getting 45.6. So this batch of biodiesel has roughly 45.6 parts per million of soap in it. Uh, you can do this test about three times and make sure that you're accurate and take an average. Um, the ASTM standard for biodiesel that is made from sodium hydroxide in order to get all the soaps out, it should have been about 41. I'm more than happy with 45. I'm within my range. I like to be under, basically under 60 uh, to burn it in a vehicle. So this fuel would almost pass the ASTM standard for soap using this test. We're going to test another batch and see how far it goes as well. When you're cleaning out your uh, stir bar here, or your magnetic stir, make sure you don't throw away the stir bar. If you want, you can dump this into the, another vessel. Uh, these stir bars are very tiny and it is very easy to lose them if you're not careful. So mine's sitting right there. Also, I like to clean my jar out with isopropyl alcohol just to get it cleaned back up. Okay, this is another batch of biodiesel we're going to test. So I've got my sample or my jar prepped. I'm going to put 12 milliliters in here and then we'll go ahead and test it. Okay, here we go. Again, I go fairly slow. This is turning yellow almost instantly. Wow, look how quick that went. Let it sit for about 30 seconds and then I take a sip, put a little bit more. To figure out how much soap is in this, we're going to times that value that we got. 0 0.10 times 304. This is even cleaner fuel. This is coming in at 30 parts, 30.4 parts per million. Also, just a clarification, these numbers on uh, our one milliliter pipette are in one one hundredth. So as you read these, this, this one marker was 0.1 of a milliliter and 0.2 of a milliliter. So in this case, we have biodiesel that is very, very clean. It's, um, with well underneath our ASTM limit. 
And that's how you do soap testing. We have soap testing kits on our website. We have a basic, a deluxe, and an ultimate test kit. Stop by utahbio.com and you can learn more about it. And soap test your fuel to keep those fuel filters clean. Thanks for watching.